A software engineer is a computer science professional who applies engineering principles and their knowledge of programming languages to design, development, testing, evaluation, and maintenance of computer software. Okay, but I'm a developer and I do all of that. Hello everyone, in today's video we will examine the fundamental difference between software engineers and developers. A few weeks ago, a colleague asked me this question while we were having drinks after work and I rambled for two minutes about what I thought the difference could be without an obvious answer, if there are many differences or not, or whether we nowadays exchange both titles. So let's start by defining what each term is. Then I'll tell you a bit about what I experienced, the difference in the industry, the salaries and the interview process, and my final conclusion. This is entirely my experience, what I observed in London. It might depend on where you are or it might depend on how you interpret them as well. Software engineers. These engineers build software and systems to solve problems, applying engineering principles when they design, develop, test and maintain software. So basically, people who build software and use all their knowledge about computers and the science behind them. If you want to have the whole picture of what software engineer really means, maybe because you are learning to code and want to become one, or because you work with software engineers and you are still trying to figure out what we actually do, check this video. It's only 10 minutes and I explain what software means, what are the principal engineering rules and all the different roles that you can find within this broad term. Although we'll cover that today as well. Software developers. To be fair, the software engineer description fits quite well for the software developer. So let's go to Google. I found a website, Coursera, that has a blog about it. Let's go through how they describe software developers. Software developers work with other developers and programmers on a limited basis. A lot of developers' work involves working with applications or operating systems more than other people. Both roles, software engineer and software developer, are critical to the infrastructure of a company and the work affects the performance of software system applications and network system. I'm not sure if I can see the difference. He's saying that the difference here is that the software developers work on a limited basis. I'm not sure if this is the reality. The truth is that being a software developer, a developer or a software engineer is a vast term. You can find multiple roles here that use different languages, tools and technologies. I'm going to create two columns of all the subset roles that we can have here and see if this helps us to see the differences. Okay, we have front-end engineer, back-end engineer, data engineer, DevOps engineer, um, system engineer, QA engineer, iOS engineer, Android engineer, and probably the list could go on. Now, in the software developer, we have all of this here, just change it for developer. Okay, I never saw the title of data developer, device developer, system, system engineer, system developer. No, I don't think so. Something else that we can add to the list is React developer and UI developer, and then Node.js developer, full stack developer, people that know about front-end technologies. So all of this, as well as backend. And yes, let's leave it here. So all of these roles here are basically web developers and iOS developers or engineers are the professionals that build apps for Apple and Android for smartphones that use Android. So as we said, these titles are subsets of the main one. They are specialization. And as we can see, both have special ideas. So this is not helping us. What are the difference then? On paper, both seem quite similar. Okay, so one of the differences that I noticed based on the roles someone can have is that you can have the title of software engineer, but your day-to-day -day job is narrowed down to be a front-end engineer, for example. You might still need to know about the back-end engineering part, but the front is what you will focus on. Or some people might work on the front for some time and then move to another team within the same company and work in the back. So companies look for people with a wide range of skills. Someone that can quickly jump between different areas or as simple as uh, be willing to learn new tech. But when you are looking for a job and you see the developer work in the job advert, these roles are advertised as one of the subset roles we saw earlier, 
which are more descriptive and specific of your responsibilities. For example, the Node.js developer role are becoming really popular. This means that the company is looking for an expert in a specific technology or language. They might only care if you know a little about CSS and they care that you are proficient in Node.js. Another difference I found is that big companies usually advertise jobs as software engineer even if they are looking specifically for a backend. But smaller companies tend to focus on advertising subset roles of the software developer. The second difference is the interview process. When applying for a software engineer role, they all have five stages pretty much, but I noticed that sometimes when you are applying for developer roles, they have fewer stages, like three, and they are usually more straightforward. Also, as an engineer, you need to have a good understanding of algorithms and data structure to pass the interview coding sessions. You might need to complete similar exercises that you find in lead code. And in my experience, the developer role assessments that I had, I think they focus more on providing that you can develop your job. So if you're applying for a front-end developer role with React, they might ask you to build a new feature to a current project that the company has to see and assess how you write code, how you create the components, add the CSS, and so on. So second difference I observe is engineering role seems a bit longer and more challenging. Let's talk about salaries. This really depends on the companies. But what I observe is that the software engineering roles usually pay a bit more. That might be why they are, their interview process is a lot more meticulous and lengthy and you need to prove that you have knowledge of many technologies. Let's recheck the Coursera's website because they have a section discussing salaries. This is in the US. Okay, so it says that the median annual base salary for software developers working in the US is $73,000 a year with a range between 51 to 112. And the median annual for software engineers is 88,000 and a range of between 64,000 and 139,000. So a little bit of what I was saying, like it's slightly different, but this really depends on the company that you are applying for. Conclusion time. In my experience as a software engineer, I have a lot more responsibilities and I use a lot more tech. I need to have much more knowledge of the big picture than I did in the past which means that I'm learning a wide range of skills. This is great if you want to know everything involved in creating a stable, sustainable, affordable, and scalable software. Or a negative if you are a person that prefers to focus and get proficient in a particular technology or language. But this is just my experience, probably because I'm in a much bigger company now. I know that I mentioned a few differences that I noticed in the industry, in the interview process or in the salary, but I honestly don't think that there is an obvious distinction between them. Whatever your tech is, we all now apply engineering ideas in our development. Maybe in the past there were, but now I think the difference are more in terms of how the roles are advertised and yeah, the association that comes with them. I don't think people really tell apart between a software engineer and a software developer. We change both words constantly. I know people that had a software engineer role title and then went into a software developer title. The difference is tiny or an assistant and it all depends on which company you are in. The term software engineer has become quite popular in the last few years. When I started working in this industry, we used to use the word developer a lot more. Actually, developers used to have title as programmers. Maybe being a software engineer sounds fancier or Maybe it's because programming is not enough with all the intelligent devices we live surrounded by. And we need to make sure we invest time and resources to apply good practices, good design patterns, and the latest stable tech when we solve our problems. So I think any software engineer is a software developer and any software developer is a software engineer if they use the same tech. Now, it's your turn to tell me your conclusion. What do you think? Are developers and software engineers the same? Does it make sense to have multiple titles that do the same? Or does it just confuse us more when we are looking for a job? By the time you watch this video, this situation might be different. The whole industry is evolving and changing super fast. So please, leave me your opinion down below.
If you found this content helpful and interesting, like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want me to carry on creating content. Thank you for watching.